Hey everyone, today is August 6, 2017, and I hope all of you are having a great day today. So, for some of you, this video might be a repetitive video, but in the last couple weeks, I gained a pretty good amount of subscribers. Actually, I gained a lot of subscribers. Um, I started consistently making videos about three months ago, and I'm at almost 4,000 subscribers right now. So today is going to be an update video with exactly what's going on with my channel and with my cars. So if you guys are new to my channel and you just subscribe, you, uh, you probably subscribe because of my 2015 Subaru BRZ and the modifications I'm doing to it. Today is going to be an update video regarding my 2015 Subaru BRZ behind me here, the uh, mods I have done to it so far, and the mods I will be getting for it. If you guys have been following my channel, you already have an idea of what I'm doing to my BRZ. But because I've got so many new subscribers, I want to go over all the modifications I have for my car, and not just that, I want to tell you what plans I have for the future regarding my BRZ and also my second car, my Lexus IS250 right there. If you've been following my channel for a good amount of time now, you know what modifications I'm getting for my car in the near future, which I'm really excited about. It's really going to change the whole aspect of my car, power-wise, performance, and just the car all around. So right now, I'll do a quick walk around of my 2015 BRZ, then I'll go for a quick drive, and I'll explain all the modifications I will be getting for my car, and like I said, go through all the modifications I already have. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's start this video with a cold start, and let's get to it. Cold start was done with my new NVIDIA N1 exhaust. And I got it pretty recently. Well, I got it installed last week on my car. So it's the NVIDIA N1 exhaust with the titanium burnt tips. My NVIDIA N1 exhaust is my second exhaust that was on my Subaru BRZ. The first exhaust I had was a Buddy Club Spec 2 exhaust that I bought my second week of owning this car. And they were both great exhausts, but I absolutely love the choice I made by swapping it out from my new NVIDIA N1. Start this video off by showing you all the modifications I've done to my car so far. We'll start from the front here. My first modification I got was my gruddy front splitter. As you can see, this front splitter really makes the front end of my BRZ look that much more aggressive. Not too many people have it in my area, so it definitely makes my car stick out. So the next modification I'll go over is what wheels I have and what tire setup I have. The wheels I bought were the XXR's 535s. Um, the tires are 23540 by 18s. Um, the wheels are 18 inches, and they definitely make the car look really aggressive. I love the five spoke, and with my car being gray metallic, so a darker color, having a wheel that sticks out, that shines definitely makes the car pop. So the next modification I got is this. This right here is my new Nardi steering wheel and I absolutely love the steering wheel for a couple reasons here. If you guys didn't know, the brand Nardi is one of the best brands of steering wheels you can buy. They're pretty much the Ferrari of all steering wheels. The reason why I love this Nardi steering wheel is because it does look awesome, but not just that, it matches the interior of my BRZ. So as you can see here, there's red stitching on the inside of the steering wheel with this red stitching on the door panels of my car. There's also red stitching on the seat swing all the way down. There's red stitching on the e-brake, the shift boot. Also, there's red lighting that comes by your feet when you turn on the car. With the steering wheel here, I bought the NRG hub and quick release. And the quick release is also on the back of the steering wheel. So what this lets me do is be able to put my steering wheel on just like that. It allows me to put it in and I'm able to take my steering wheel off whenever I want to. So all you do is put your hands behind here, push it back, and the steering wheel comes right off. And what I'm planning to do is get bucket seats for this car eventually. 
Um, and what I'm gonna do is, with those bucket seats, it's usually hard to get out of. That's why when you take the steering wheel off, it's easier to get out. And not just that, it definitely looks awesome. Since we're inside the car right now, I'll show you some of the modifications I have inside the interior. So right here I have an awesome shift knob. It's the Mishimoto carbon fiber shift knob. And I've had this since the first week I've owned my car. And this is one of the best investments I bought. It feels great, it does get hot from the sun, and the weight from it is perfect. Right below the shifter here, I have a Carboy short shifter that makes the throws a lot shorter when I shift the car. So having a perfect shift knob with a short shifter really makes the car a lot better while driving and it makes it easier to bang through all the gears. So that's pretty much it for my interior of my car. It's really simple, it looks clean, and I couldn't be any happier with it. So another modification I have that really makes my car look aggressive from the outside and make it perform better is the Eibach Sportline Lowering Springs. Couldn't be happier with my Eibach Sportline Lowering Springs. It lowers my BRZ about 1.4 inches, the front and the back. And as you can see here, there is literally no gap whatsoever between the tire and the fender. If you go to the back over here, it's not as low, but it still looks really good. And it looks good that the front's a little bit higher than the back. It gives it a better stance altogether. And with those 18 inch wheels, 235, 40 by 18 tires, this setup makes it look that much more aggressive. What I bought last week was something that's gonna make my car faster and sound amazing. So like I said, I bought the NVIDIA N1 exhaust. The exhaust I had before was the Buddy Club Spec 2. So the reason why I switched out the exhaust is because I'm getting headers for my car. I bought them last week. They should be coming in the mail um, early this week. Today's Sunday, so hopefully it comes tomorrow or Tuesday, and then I'll get it installed like a couple days after. So next week I'll have headers in my car. I haven't told anyone what the headers are yet. It's gonna be a surprise once I get them. But the combination between the headers I'm getting and my NVIDIA N1 exhaust sounds absolutely awesome. And something I didn't say also, I also have a J2 front pipe, which I have connected to my Buddy Club Spec 2 exhaust, and that definitely gives the NVIDIA N1 a little bit more rumble too. But with the headers I'm getting, it's gonna give that classic Subaru rumble, they're unequal length, and I can't wait to get those installed this week. Something else I bought for my car too, that I definitely need for headers, and just in general was the open flash tablet. That's what this is right here. As you can see here, I have the open flash tablet connected to my OBD port and my BRZ. Um, this lets me do different tunes for my car. As of right now, I am stage one for my BRZ. By the end of this week, I will have headers on my car and I'll start doing E85. I'm actually not using E85 right now because I'm waiting to get my headers. So with this open flash tablet, um, I'm on stage one like I said. I have more lower end torque, but once I get the headers and E85, it'll give me a lot more horsepower and torque. So those are all the modifications I got for my BRZ over the last four months of ownership. So right now, I'll do a few pulls for you guys. So I'm gonna end the video right here. First of all, I wanna thank all of you for subscribing to my videos and watching them every day. Channel's going pretty quick right now, and on top of that, uh, my car is really coming together also. I also have my Lexus IS250, which I might trade in for another sports car. I'll keep you guys updated with that. But again, thank you guys so much. Please like and subscribe. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Can't you see? Cause even if I die, my words are never fake to visionary. Watch me fuck the world till I'm on top. We call that missionary. Milk the game for all this dairy. Step my bread and get that cheese. Million dollar deals.